Hey, yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video, baby. I hope you're doing fantastic as usual, man. And today, we're watching Phase Rug, baby. This guy is easily the top 10, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, hands down, you know what I'm saying? Top 5 even, you know what I'm saying? Today, he's doing a mukbang, man, and he's with his ex-girlfriend, Kaylin, bro. And it's gonna be juicy, man, you know what I'm saying? So without further ado, if you're brand new, be sure you subscribe, baby, and smash the like button, man, and let's enjoy it. Let's see what phase. What is going on, guys? It's your boy Faze Rug. Welcome back to another video. I'm here today with Kaylin. Yeah! As you can see, we have so Kaylin. much. Kaylin. <laughs> we didn't just want to stick to one food for the month, baby. We got six different fast foods. You shouldn't have broken up with Kaylin. You know? I'm so hungry. So we got Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, McDonald's, Big Stop, In and Out, and Raising Canes. Yeah. Bro, so Kaylin is probably the yummiest <laughs> out of everything. <laughs> Oh, right. Videos to do because we get to just sit here, talk, have a normal conversation to you guys between me and Kaylin. I went on my Instagram to ask us some juicy questions, and we got a ton of responses. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah. First things first. Let's dig in. All right. Ten or hundred thousand. Food here. What's your favorite? I go through different phases. Me too. It's like a tie between In and Out and Canes. Yeah. I love McDonald's fries. McDonald's fries. Oh yes, Kaylin. McDonald's fries. Brenda. Asks, do you regret putting That's your relationship on social media? And if so, would you still be dating? I would say yes and no to me regretting putting it on social media because I always kept it real with my fans since day one. And if I'm dating a girl, I'd love to share her with you guys. And okay, pause. <laughs> Bro, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, Bro, I really you into see? that cop stuff. No. <laughs> Hit me up, man. I can help you out. In the beginning, everything was good. Everything was going well. The feedback was amazing until more later on where you started being in my videos a lot more and we started seeing more comments and a lot of people speculating things that just weren't true. I feel like it would cause a lot of problems internally Wait, what? between Kaylin and I where we were just like, damn, it was kind of a mis- What did that comment say, bro? You can, you, you can know he see that Kaylin's feeling towards Raga a lot stronger than he is towards her. Kind of sad because we both know she's a real one. Dude, that's how it should be. What's wrong with that, man? But still, you know. Comments right? and a lot of people speculating things that yeah, it's all speculation. That just weren't true. I feel like it would cause a lot of problems internally between Kaylin and I, where we were just like, damn, it was kind of a mistake putting it on social media, but at the same time, I want to keep it real. Yeah, we didn't really get the chance to have like a private relationship. People just speculated like little tiny things. For example, if he was collabing with a girl, it's like, oh my gosh, like this is disrespectful to Kaylin. In your guys' eyes, I guess, sometimes you guys thought, saw it as disrespectful. So for us, we just kind of thought, okay, let's take a step back, take it offline, and see how it worked out that way instead. A lot of people might Bro, have seen the like podcast angel. I did with Roman Atwood, and I said that the breakup video was fake. The breakup video we made fake. It wasn't really fake. We did agree on taking a break around that time. Us taking it offline definitely did bring us closer. I'm pretty happy with where we're at right now. Yeah, hey. I agree. Before we Come continue get back the questions, we actually came right. out with three new flavors. The new flavors they got are the Meltdown, Crunch Time, and Pure Mayhem. <laughs> do you but, want boys, one? Sure I do, but Wingstop Ranch I don't think so there's another chance. place that compares to Wingstop Ranch. We're gonna get the dip Ooh. right there. I actually used to be a boneless wing kind of guy until I was introduced to this, of course. Yep. And I always watch people on TikTok eat wings and they just make it look so much better. Like when you get bone in, I always get flats now. I never get drumsticks. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's nice. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was messy. I'm gonna give it a McDonald's flavor. That's a good. 10 out of 10. Everything is a 10 out of 10. Ali Hondro <laughs> asked, What's the craziest spot you've done it at? Done what? They're talking about like making YouTube videos. Uh -huh. I don't know, but if I were to remember, I don't know if you'd agree, it's not even crazy. It's just it was the backseat of my car. The Rug Rover, the OG days. Everyone knows that red interior. Flawless. Do you remember that? Oh, yes, I remember baby. that. I remember that. Ooh, what was that. You know what's crazy? That was actually our first time. Yeah. I to this day, I still oh. think that Range Rover is my favorite car that I've ever owned. If you guys have been watching me since... Real, bro. This guy's got a Lambo. That's strong words coming from the Lamborghini owner. And 
2016, you'd know what I'm talking about. Did you enjoy the backseat? Oh, yeah. Like, right. the backseat of the Ranger Bros, they had, like... What the heck are you guys doing in the backseat? Massages, right? there's a fridge back Very there. spacious. Very spacious. Like, it was great. It was a great time. A lot of people have been wanting me to be more raw in my videos, and I love it. I do a lot of challenge videos. I do a lot of different types of videos now, but I don't see that as a bad thing. I personally enjoy doing videos like that. I feel like my channel has evolved where it's not only, like, daily vlogging. At the end of the day, I'll never forget my roots, whether it's gaming, vlogging, and I'll always sprinkle that in every now and then. Just like this. Like, these are some of my favorite types of videos to record. Not only yeah, am I going to be more raw and I'm real in front of the camera, but I get to eat food, man. You get to eat food, and you get to tell people, like, your real thoughts, your real answers. Like, yeah. you don't get to sit down and be raw as often. Especially with a lot going on now, like, this is the perfect time. Exactly. Hey, Kayla, this question's for you. What was Kaylin's first impression when she met Rug? I know your first impression, but I'd love to hear it from you. I've known Brian for such a long time. I don't know if you guys actually know this, but Jessica is my best friend. I've known her since the second grade, so that's like over 20-something years, honestly. That's how I met Brian. I'll be honest, I wasn't all that nice to him. This takes it back to like elementary school type of thing. Like, you're just mean to the guy you like. That's your way of flirting. That was my way of flirting with him. I would pick on him. Can they hear it from me? No. She <laughs> doesn't like when I bring this up. And it really was. I promise you I'm not going to make it worse. There's a difference between being mean and flirting and just straight up being mean. I wasn't mean. Okay, she wasn't mean like that, but like, it was very hard for me to understand that she liked me. Like, she would obviously agree to hang out and stuff, which I was like, oh, cool, like, she wants to hang out with me by myself, like, that must mean she liked me. But then when we were together, I didn't sense that you did like me, but then maybe that was your love language. Maybe your love language was like, I'm gonna be mean. When I was younger, I'll be honest, I didn't know how to show my feelings. So that's definitely the way I went about it, which now looking back on it, obviously that was wrong. I didn't mean to put you through those, like, oh, those hard times. I really did like you from the beginning. That's good, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get, you can't give it up that easy. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make, you gotta make Brian work for that shit, my God. And one of the other things, Jessica was my best friend. I was afraid of something ruining our friendship. So if I got with her cousin, how would that affect our friendship? It did affect our friendship at first. Mm -hmm. I kind of took Kaylin away from Jessica, which was my bad. Yeah, but me and Jessica were like this. Like, I pretty much lived at her house. I was with her every single day. So it really hurt her when I started hanging out with him over her. And not hanging out with her as much. Okay, Kaylin, really you're not even eating like, I don't know why I eat my burgers upside down. I guess I'm supposed to eat it this way? That's upside down. Wait. This is the top button. Yeah. No, I usually eat it like this on camera. Oh, oh. And a lot of people are like, yo, Rug, you eat your burger upside down. I'm like, what does that mean? Like, no matter which way I eat it. It's all going to the same place. It's all going to the same place and I'm still tasting the yeah, but actually, it's actually better to eat it upside down because that's where the bread is softer and that's where the tongue hits the taste first. So I don't blame this guy. Same you know flavors in my mouth. So stop judging how I ate my burgers, guys. Yeah. Ooh, next question. It's about to get juicy. Charlie asks, what do you think about the phase drama? There's a lot going on with FaZe Clan right now. Okay. I haven't really spoke about it. It's pretty sad. FaZe Clan is my life. As you guys can see, I don't know where the camera picks up, but we got like a FaZe logo there. We got a FaZe poster there. We got a FaZe logo marked on me for life long story short a lot of the og oh, phase yeah, members have been does. coming out speaking about how they're unhappy with how phase is today how phase doesn't really feel like a family like it used to be everyone was so close at one point we met each other on xbox a lot of them lived in a house together the new york house which i actually wasn't a part of the new york house they didn't get invited to that a lot of people don't know that it's kind of crazy i'm answering another question within this question but i actually really wanted to move in they just didn't have room for me it was a hard decision for me anyways to move across the US, you know, moving all the way to New York. Brian will never move away from his parents, bro, because I don't know, I, I, I've been watching this guy for so long, man. He's tried to move so many times, but he always wants to come back and live near his parents. I feel like I personally wouldn't have even lasted that long, you know? So, like, I feel like everything mm. happens for a reason. So, stayed back in San Diego, made videos with my family, and yeah. honestly, I feel like it was a blessing in disguise because even though I didn't live with them, I was still very close. We'd keep communication every day. We would play video games almost every day still. So, mm -hmm. I wonder what would have happened if I did move to the New York house. Like, would I still be where I'm at today? But, fast forwarding to today, the main thing is getting phased to be back to what it used to be. We were once a family, and I feel like a lot of the OGs drifted apart, but I feel like we're coming back together a lot of people think me and rain don't like each other i love rain we've been oh yeah i saw the video like i just saw a video saying like rain was exposing rug and what's the other guy adapt phase adapt and rug was getting exposed by rain 
way. Been talking for the past week, and I feel like a lot of people just twist things. I just want people to know, like, that's not it at all, man. I just want the OG FaZe members to feel appreciated. I want them to feel like they're more involved in FaZe because, again, if it wasn't for the OG members, there would be no FaZe clan. We were the ones that started playing Xbox and turned it into something huge. Hopefully, at the end, we can all just be happy. The next question we got is from I Love My Cali Girl. What is the best advice someone has given you? I love that. Okay. If someone's given you any life advice out there and it's really changed or impacted your life, please leave it in the comment section down below. Yes. We're all one big family too, so I would love to read those comments from you, but I will start. Go ahead. It's kind of basic, but it really, really puts things into perspective for me. It says, don't stress over things that you can't control. Yes, mm. that's something like you that's need to think. huge, bro, because like you're just wasting your time. You're wasting your happy. Yeah, well, 90% of the things in life almost you can't control. Happiness, your yeah. mental is being affected by something that hasn't even happened or something that you just can't control. You can't do anything about it, so don't let it suck you up. And it is a lot easier said than done. But I just think it's something that you guys should practice if that's something that bothers you. Like, just try to tell yourself, tell your brain, I cannot control this. I cannot let it affect my day. Yeah. I cannot let it eat at me all day because it will ruin your day for no reason. Let's Kayla, go your turn. Fast. Somebody had once told me, and I don't remember the exact thing, but it's something like not everybody has the same same kind of heart as you. So for me, I love very hard. I'm like, I'll give so much to somebody or people or friends or just in general. You could have a pure heart and somebody else can have a horrible heart. You feel like everyone you talk to that's just because you're a good person is going to be a good person back. But that's just not true. I've encountered a lot of bad people in my life. But I always give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm always like, no, like they have to be a good person, you know? But guys, don't think just because you're a good person that everyone around you is a good person too. Yeah. Just always keep your guard up. That's and, and the other thing is, when someone shows you their true colors, believe them. Otherwise, if you keep putting it in your head like, oh, they're going to be better. They're going to... No, they showed you who they are. Accept it. You have to accept it sometimes. Not everybody is going to be different. You spoke nothing but facts right there. I'm serious. Jose yeah, asked, yeah. would you let her start an OnlyFans? Mm. You. Oh. I'll start the answer. It's not my choice. Like, if she wants to start an OnlyFans, she can start an OnlyFans. Like, yeah. it's totally up to her. Would you start an OnlyFans? There is nothing wrong with OnlyFans. Get your money. Do what you need to do. It's just not for me. No OnlyFans hey, are Kayla coming anytime soon ever. That's all I have to say on that. All right, That's next question. Love, Jackie asks, what is something That's that gives you the ick about each other? <laughs> <laughs> I know what Ryan's ick is going to be. I already know it. Something that gives me the ick about Kayla is she snores a lot and it's loud. Oh. It's loud, bro. Like, uh -huh. not in a bad way. Like, I know people who snore, like, can't control it. And don't get me wrong, I've snored too. But I have a really hard time sleeping in general. So if I wake up from it, it's going to be nearly impossible for me to fall back asleep. You want to know my ick is? That you stress and stress and stress and stress and stress. And you, like, stress over things that don't happen yet. So I can't control. Yeah. Kind of like, like what I was Yeah, saying. I can't control. But that's what I'm saying. It's not a, like really an ick. It's like I feel bad that you go through that. You know what I mean? But it's something like I wish you could change. But I know you can't. Lately, I have been a lot more stressed than I've been. A lot of overthinking, like the whole phase situation going on. Oh, yeah. Rock is one of the leaders or core leaders of phase playing. So, yeah. He's got the tattoo there and stuff like that. So, God damn, man. Hey, boys, if you're still watching, be sure you subscribe, please, man, and drop a like right and now. I've just been working on building my mental to be stronger, so I'm going to start reading. I heard that helps. I've been juicing every day. Carrots, celery, spin. Juicing? What do you mean? Like steroids? Spinach, <laughs> kale, apples, blueberries, and just trying to drink that every day. Opening up more about my mental health because that is so important. If you bottle it in, it's just going to get way worse. And yes. I was very bad at that at first. I would hate talking to people about my problems because I feel like I'm such a burden. You know, it's like people probably see it as like, you have all this. What are you complaining about? But at the end of the day, like there's a lot that still happens in people's lives that have a lot of things. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like if I bring it up to people, they're going to be like, oh my God, like he's complaining. I always tell him like, I'd rather you tell me so you can get it out and like you might feel a little better just talking about it just yeah. saying how you're feeling but that's why I was saying mine isn't an ick it's something that I wish she could change because I don't like to see you stressed out I don't like I'm to trying. see you down on yourself if you guys have any tips on any of that stuff again I will be reading a lot of these comments Damien asked are you ever gonna box anyone no <laughs> no I'm not I like listen I'm me and 
Dude, I thought you were gonna box Tina Fox. Oh, wait, Aiden Ross, Biden. And Ross. Aiden Ross were supposed to box at the end of 2021. I'm gonna be real with everybody right now. Like, this is the best time to be real. Of course. We both kind of said that we just weren't gonna box anymore, but to be completely honest, I'm the one that told Aiden I don't wanna get in the ring anymore because I realized how much commitment it was. In order for me to start training and get in shape, I would have to probably take a break off of YouTube. And I just. Yeah, Aiden has been training. He's been with Andrew Tate as well. Bye. So yeah, he's, he's been training. Wasn't ready for that type of commitment yet. It's not because I was scared or any of that. I'm consistently making YouTube videos, and that's just what makes me happy. So love you, Aiden. I did suggest that makes you happy. Let's go, bro. Me too. Uh, we should do a basketball <laughs> event, kind of like that Ace Family basketball oh, event. But if it was hosted by me and Aiden, and it leads up to a one v one at the end, I just think that would go crazy. So let's do a huge basketball event at Crypto Arena. I don't like saying crypto. I say Staples Center. Should I box someone? Who would you box, Molly? Yeah, oh, she box Molly May. Yeah. The fans would love to see that, though. On the topic of boxing, Ryan Garcia or Tank? Okay. <gasps> oh, Javonte Tank Davis and Ryan King Ryan Garcia. Javonte Davis. I'm going to let you answer first. First of all, I don't know anything about boxing. I only know Ryan Garcia because of you, so I'm going to go Ryan Garcia. After <laughs> watching the press conference, the face-to-face -face with Javonte and Ryan, I think Ryan looks so good. I think his mentality He's there. It's gonna be a good fight. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's been anticipated for years. Uh -huh. I've taken a punch from Ryan, and that was him going like 50%, and I almost died. I like bruised my <laughs> ribs. I actually called my doctor after the body shot challenge. He said my ribs are bruised. So, I mean, man, that guy's got a crazy left hook, and if it connects, you never know what could happen. So, yeah. I got my boy Ryan for sure. Are you gonna be attending the fight? Absolutely. Are we gonna eat? Ryan, I'm Ooh, really Ryan. so full. I'm mean, like, I'll just take some home. I'll take some of this to my parents' house. Okay, JB asks, when? Oh, I hear Brian so Let's go. Plan on having kids. I don't know. I'm 26 right now. I don't. Oof. Brian is 26. Shit. I don't know why. It just hasn't crossed my mind. I'm personally not ready. I know I hear a lot from parents that have kids, sometimes unexpectedly, yeah. say that you'll never be ready for kids until you have one. I'll always have that in the back of my mind, but as of right now, I just feel like I got a lot going on. I want to slow down on YouTube before I even think about having kids because having a kid is a huge responsibility and it's life-changing yeah. and I don't think I'm ready right now. Yeah, I don't know when I'm having kids, but I'm 28 now. I think like... Ooh. Wait, so, wait, Kevin's older than Brian. Oh, wow. Usually when you get in your mid thirties is probably when you don't have kids anymore. So like, I still got a chunk of time, right? But also I have a baby. I have one. She's actually outside playing right oh, now. Okay. Her name is Lola. There could be a little rug running around. <laughs> wait, did you see Brian's first reaction? He was like, <gasps> wait. <laughs> Bro, Brian's reaction from Kevin and I had a baby. That was crazy, bro. Let's go. Bro. My goal with that would be having my kid grow up and take over the Phase Rug YouTube channel. Phase Rug Junior. Imagine. That would be just like the craziest thing and it would be all documented. Even when I'm like 50 years old, I can see when I was a kid on YouTube versus me having a kid and then also fast forwarding to my kid growing up and taking over the Phase Rug legacy. I just think that would be really cool. That would be a goal of mine. Yeah, no Phase rug babies coming anytime soon no. or baby. All right, guys, I am extremely full. I know it doesn't look like we ate a lot, but we did. I'm gonna go give some of this to my parents. I'll take this to some of my family. We don't want to let it go to waste, but we thank you guys for watching this mukbang. I feel good about this. I feel good about just having a nice raw okay. conversation and hopefully giving some people tips, advice. Hopefully, you guys giving me tips and advice in the comment section. And I'll hey, yo, on that note, I'll end mine here too. I really hope you did enjoy guys and if you did enjoy be sure you subscribe to the channel man and drop a like other than that i'll see you on the next video be sure to check out my other videos and if you want me to keep pumping up this amazing content be sure you drop a like and subscribe man i'm only the energy i receive i'll catch you on the next video baby i love you all peace